this video will dictate the difference in the results of stress, strain and deformation between two geometries. The first geometry is a square based geometry and second geometry is circular based cylindrical geometry. Both have the height of hundred millimeter. Similarly, hundred millimeter here. Both are having the same volume that we can verify. Cylinder has the volume of analysis, model, mass properties, compute. It has the volume of 1 e raised to 6 millimeter cube. Similarly, even the square based geometry has the same volume. One e raised to six millimeter cube. But there is a saving in the surface area in a circular geometry compared to the square geometry, which means If we calculate the surface area of both the bodies, then the square body has more surface area compared to the cylindrical body. Let us confirm. Analysis, model, mass properties. This has the surface area of 5.54 e raised to 4 millimeter square. Similarly, a square has the surface area of 6 e raised to 4 millimeter square. Coming back to the analysis. In this case, both the geometries are applied with the pressure of 1 MPa. Similarly, for cylindrical body, 1 MPa, the pressure is acting outwards. The top edges and the bottom edges of these are completely fixed. The material which is used for these two geometries is steel. When the geometry was meshed and the load was applied and when the solution was computed, three results were captured equivalent stress or the von Mises stress, the directional deformation in x-axis and the equivalent strain. In this case, we'll compute the strain plastic. Evaluate There is no plastic strain and in cylindrical body there is no plastic strain but if we look at the directional deformation the cylindrical body has 0 0.0087 millimeter deformation which is 8 microns or 8 to 9 microns. If we look at the directional deformation of a square geometry, it has 
the deformation of 0.86 millimeter 0.86 millimeter and the square body has the stress of 418 MPA 418 MPA similarly the stress in the cylindrical body is 29 MPA this result or this analysis this finite element analysis has dictated that the geometry will have the tremendous influence on the results like stress deformation and strain it is concluded by this observation that the cylindrical body having the same height as the square body has the lesser surface area compared to the square body but has the same volume in comparison but when the results were observed the square body has given a more stress and deformation in comparison with the cylindrical body